Hey guys, this is what we're on today. So we have to do some trailer wiring. This is from Kenny Upol. I've got some replacement trailer wires. My old ones, you can see, are just over here. And unfortunately, there's something missing right there. The ground pin. The white wire on a Dodge is the ground. So unfortunately, when you remove these plugs from the trailer, you of course have to twist and pull and twist and pull. Well, that cracked off the ground pin. So now the trailer doesn't work properly. No trailer lights. Highly illegal, Corey and Trevor. So what we do is we have to chop it off. You can see this is not the first time this has happened. This is all shrink uh, heat shrink tubing. So what we do is we simply chop those off again and uh, remove it and simply replace this little pigtail with this pigtail and you can see it's kind of long so we'll be able to make it to the right length because our trailer needs to have a nice long wire and because I have the Dodge problem with the Relay 73 this is our problem here we've had to add more tail lights actually clearance lights and then I have this wire right here you can see that wire goes to the front of the vehicle. Actually, let me just see that one there. No, apologize, apologize. That one there is actually to be able to make my left turn signal and brake light work. So it's actually speaker wire that goes up to the cab and I have a manual rocker switch that turns it on because Relay 73 unfortunately kills the left brake light and the left turn signal on the trailer and I can't fix it. This is how I fix this because that light and that light only work on brake and turn but not clearance lights. Backup light works fine. So these, all these do, I simply, no drill, no cut, no nothing. It's just mounted into the existing lights. I fabbed up a bracket, put in some stainless steel screws and then cut the stainless steel screw off flush no rusting and that's how you do that job and then the wire because again the clearance lights are on the left side of the vehicle I don't know if you can see it that little wire right there that one runs all the way down the vehicle you can see how I've brought it through and that runs all the way down 22 feet all the way down to this one. This is again a little Princess Auto Light and again fabbed up a bracket, used this hole right here, fabbed up a bracket and now because this light here doesn't work. The, t the turn signal works but the clearance light doesn't. So that's highly illegal Corey and Trevor. So what we do is uh, we simply fab up this little bracket and when you look at it, it looks fine. And then, of course, there's more wires in the front. We have a bracket, which is just mounted to the front. You can see right under there. It goes right into the keyhole slots. It's not keyhole slots, they're square bolts. And, of course, I've got more wiring there. That one there is designed to be able to keep up the balance because here in Ottawa we have lots of snow. So if you go through a snowbank, well, you smash that thing off. You can see it's happened before right over there. That was Ice Storm 98. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, you can comment, subscribe, and reply. So, same sort of thing there. Nice wiring. Again, no cutting, no nothing, and those are 100 watt. Those are real good. And then, of course, we have some air intake to be able to get some maximum cold air to the front of the vehicle. And what's this? Is this for a CB? No, it's not. This is to be able to try and park an enormously long vehicle because if you look at it that's a big long vehicle almost big as pug one so in this case that's designed so I don't smash into anything else because when you're driving a cab forward vehicle you can't really see and you don't want to smash off all this something the stuff in the front so that works out well same thing all the way to the back. So now we're sitting on a propane tank on a piece of plywood, sitting right here at my desk. Let me see. Oh yeah, nice and comfortable. So here we go. Now it's time to do some wiring. See you guys.